In this and next lecture, we will talk about arrays which contain nested documents. And our goal is to find a specific document in the array and update this document. There are two ways to achieve this – without LMMatch operator and with LMMatch operator. Let's first talk about more simple case without LMMatch operator. And let's first look at an example of the array with nested documents. So here it is. Card is an array that contains two nested documents and each nested document has three fields inside of it – title, price and quantity. And let's suppose we want to change second document where title is phone. And we simply want to change quantity, for example. Let's look how this can be achieved. Here is an example. We are looking for document where cart.title is phone. So cart is array and title is a field of the nested documents. So in this query we are looking for subdocument that has title field phone. And when this field will be found, then dollar sign operator will dynamically point to the index of this subdocument. In our case, index of this subdocument is 1. So this with TV is 0 and this is 1. And using this information, we can perform set operation on specific subdocument. You see dot dollar sign dollar sign will be 1 here. Then we access property of the nested document is a quantity and set its value to number int 2. So in this example we increment quantity from 1 to 2. Ok, let's look at this in action. In this example we will change document with index 5. Let's execute find query. So this document is almost empty. So let's perform following. We will add two items to the card and then we'll update particular item in the card. And each item will be a nested document. Ok, let's do this and let's go to update tab. Let's first set card ID for this document because there is no card ID at the moment here. So let's set card ID using set operator. So in the query will be index 5. Here will be set and card ID that will be number int and 456 for example. And let's execute this operation. Let's go back to find and refresh this view. So card ID is here 456. And I will now use this card ID to refer to this document. Let's go to update tab and instead of index 5 in the query, just paste card ID. 4, 5, 6. Ok, let's go back to find. And what is needed next? I need to push couple of nested documents to the card array. Let's do this. Let's go back to update. I will use push operator. Then card here. And let's push two objects. If we want to push several elements, we need to use each modifier operator. So let's use it. Just curly braces, then dollar sign each. This dollar sign each operator requires an array. In our case, each element will be an object. So let's add two objects. First object, comma, second object. In each object, we will now add just one key value pair. So for first document, it will be title TV. And for second will be title phone. We will not add other fields at the moment. Ok, title, TV and for second will be title, copy this and paste phone, like this. So again, using this operation, we will push to the card array two elements and each element is a nested document or object. And each nested document contains just one field. For first document it is title, 
with a value TV and for second document it is title with a value phone. Let's execute this operation. Command Enter. Operation was successful. Let's go back to Find tab and refresh view here. And here we are. Card array has now two nested documents. First and second. Ok, let's now update first nested document in this card array. It means that we need to add to the query condition that will match this document. Let's go back to update and let's update query. So just add comma here. And here we will use dot notation to access title field of the card array. And it needs to be TV, like this. Then instead of push, I will use set. And let's remove this line. I want to set price and quantity for this document. So price will be 340 and quantity will be 2. Let's do this. So let's set. I will do this like this. Card dot dollar sign. Dollar sign will refer to the index of the nested document where card title is TV. Sorry, double quotes here. And let's set price. Number int 340. And then card dot dollar sign quantity number int 2. So we are looking for document with card ID 456. And we are looking for a specific sub document with a title that equals to TV. And then for this specific document using dot notation and dollar sign, we will set additional fields, price and quantity. Let's execute this, command enter. Update was successful. Let's go back to find, command enter to refresh this. And here it is. Now, first document with the title TV has price and quantity. Let's perform same operation for second document. For the phone, price will be 150 and quantity 1. Let's go back to update tab. Instead of 340, just 150 and quantity will be 1. And of course, we are looking now for next nested document with the title phone, like this. And let's execute this operation. Go back to find, refresh view, and here we are. Now, second nested document has also price and quantity inside of it. Let's summarize what happened. We are looking for specific document using special condition in the query. We are matching nested document just using one field, title. And if match found, we have set additional fields in specific nested document. And the results are here. In this example, we have matched nested documents just by one field, title. What if I want to match nested documents by two or more fields? For example, I want to match this document by title and price. And if match found, then update quantity. Remember that for this case we need to use element match operator or shortly lm match. In this case you need to use lm match operator in the query. And let's do this next. See you shortly.